Hi there, friends. I've been missing you so much, and I wanted to read another one of my favorite books with you. This one is called, There's an Alligator Under My Bed. Eek. The author and the illustrator is Mercer Mayer. Let's find out what happens to this guy. There used to be an alligator under my bed. When it was time to go to sleep, I had to be very careful. Because I knew he was there. But whenever I looked, he hid or something. So I called for mom and dad. but they never saw it. It was up to me. I just had to do something about that alligator. Now I wonder what he's gonna do. Think about it for a minute. Okay, tell somebody what you predict. What do you think the boy's gonna do? Okay, let's find out. So, I went to the kitchen to get some alligator bait. I filled a paper bag full of things that alligators like to eat. Hmm. I put a peanut butter sandwich, some fruit, and the last piece of pie in the garage. You think alligators like to eat those things? I put cookies down the hall. I left fresh vegetables on the stairs. What is he doing? I put a soda and some candy next to my bed. Then I watched and waited. And sure enough, out he came to get something to eat. Then I hid in the hall closet. I followed him down the stairs. I followed him down the hall. Where's he going? And when he crawled into the garage, I slammed the door and locked it. Then I went to bed. There wasn't even any mess to clean up. He looks pretty proud of himself. Now, now that there is an alligator in the garage, I wonder if my dad will have any trouble getting in his car tomorrow morning. I'll just leave him a note. Look what he did. He left his dad some notes. It says, Dear Dad, there's an alligator in the garage. If you need help, wake me up. Warning, be careful. And there's a picture of that alligator. All right. Well, listen, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. And I'll be thinking about you and... You better be watching out for alligators. Bye-bye.